mad movie, man. Mad movie, bro. Um, X. <laughs> And this 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 film is really X. This film should should really be, be be called X. I mean, I think when you look at this film, man, um, it's for horror merchants. I mean, that is the best way to describe this film. This film is purely for horror merchants. And for me, see, I'm not a, a, a horror merchant. That's the thing. I'm actually no 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 the horror merchant. But you have to still admire that, even if you're not a horror merchant or you're not a horror fan. You have to admire how well this film is made. I don't want to spoil anything. So this has been non spoiler review because I think it's best that you experience this mad, crazy, psycho film for yourself. Because, bro, at a point in this film, basically, I did this. Like, there's, there's a point in this film that I, I did this. If you watch the film, you know that there's a point in this film, I'm like, whoa. Um, so, put it very simply, it's a film. Because really, I went to knowing nothing about the film. I, I knew nothing. So the film's about... This night, it's in 1979. This group of individuals are making a porno movie because this is before like home video began to, to, to say what was up. So they're going to make a porno movie in this kind of like weird house town. And I know sorry, in this, in this like weird house, and in this house lives these two, <laughs> these two old people. Um, and these old people don't know that they're actually making a porno flick. And this old chick is wants to feel young and she's sort of jealous that these are young girls who are having sex and so forth because she wants to feel sexual and wants to feel loved but her partner who is also old as well bro he's too old to 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 say what was up sexually um and you just and and that's as, as far as i can get because stuff just begins to go down because this old woman starts to really do some things and really so begins to really have beef with, with, with regards to what this crew is doing while making this porno flick. This film is mad. It's gruesome. It is crazy violent. And some of the things that happen... Again, I can't say it because I don't want to spoil it for guys. But some of the things that happen, I'm like, whoa. But overall, look, see, for me... See, this, see when you look at something like The Exorcist or Omen, those films transcended the genre. It's for me, I'm like an action genre guy. Bro, On the Siege is, your, is a typical action movie. Um, Kickboxer, the typical action movie. But when you don't look at something like a Matrix Reloaded or like a John Wick, that sort of transcends the genre where like non-action fans can like it. So I'm not a horror fan. So I don't. I, will, I probably won't enjoy it as much as horror fans. But if you're a horror fan, you will love this film. I think horror fans will love this film based on just how it's made and just how well it does. It does the horror truth, but it does them very well. So I can't give it a super high mark because it doesn't really reach the high echelons of, oh, this is an amazing film. If you're a non-horror fan, will you enjoy this? I'm not sure you will. I mean, it will get to you. You will you'll be grouped and so forth, but it doesn't really, it doesn't do anything fresh. And it's pretty much stays within it, the confines of its own horror genre and doesn't really try to do anything dynamic or anything new. But still, within that confines of the genre, it's, it's, it's damn good because this the scares, the suspense... Bro, some of the stuff that happens in this flip, bro. I was like, what? <laughs> I can't say because sometimes I was like, what the hell is going like the freak is going on? Like, some of the stuff I'm like, this is it's messed up. Some of the stuff that happens is just freaking messed up, you know. So like I think it's just refreshing to just view a film that is completely original. You know, like this is just a guy come up with this concept. Again, it's not perfect, it's not amazing, you know, but when you just see all these like reboots, rebirths, super moves and so forth. It's refreshing seeing something where I generally don't know what's gonna happen and it's like, whoa, where where the hell is this is this is this thing going to go, man? So I think it's a guy called Ty West who directed and, and wrote this flick man. But yeah, no no you know but very well made. Really, really well well made. Like in terms of just the direction, the pacing, how it goes from scene to scene and so forth. And the, I think the best thing about this film is just the feeling of suspense and the suspense that he creates with the characters is really cool so it's a it's a really good horror movie is it a really good film no i wouldn't call it a great film or an amazing film no i can't call it an amazing film see the exorcist is an amazing film that's an absolutely amazing film this is not an amazing film it's all right it's amazing but for a horror film it's a pretty damn good horror film compared to other horror films that have been released and so forth i think this stands Head and shoulders above all that kind of horror films within its genre. So, for its genre, it definitely says what's up. 
So it's really for the Torah fans out there. But yeah, some of the stuff in there is messed up, bro. 